Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Honorable Commissioners, I call Mudlamin Sonko, Emir Karafi Anson. So we remind you of your oath. You can have a seat. Mr. Sonko, yes, um, I would like you to clarify some aspects of your evidence as well as um, to react to further evidence that has been led before this commission. Okay. The title deeds of the Kairababish Hotel when it was acquired by Emir Karafi and Sons. Um, did Emir Karafi and Sons obtain a copy, not a copy, the original, sorry, of the title deeds when Kairababich Hotel was purchased? I am not, I can't remember that fully well, but I know one thing, we agreed uh, to have a new lease in our name. Uh, because we prefer, you know, have to have a clean sheet, you know, dealing with your adjustment. You know, we wanted a new lease in our name and everything, new title deed, everything in our sorry, name. Sorry, you, you were given a new... Uh, sorry, sorry, can you help? We, we can't hear. <coughs> oh, sorry. Yes, we actually we preferred to have a new lease in our name, to have a clean bill, you know, dealing with uh, Yaja, we didn't want to have anything, any history, you know, uh, we wanted everything to be new in our name, that was one of the conditions of the sales, you know, we agreed that anyway, everything, we are, we are going to have a new uh, lease, everything will be in our name from the time of the close, you know, of business. That might be the case, but what about the existing title deed? Well, I'm not sure whether we were given that, or I, I'm not sure. I have to find out whether, you know, we have it. I, because it's a long time. I, I, I'll dig into the files and I'll check with Kuwait whether we have been given, but I'm not sure. Did you hear the evidence of Mr. Lang Conte concerning but, the sale of Kairaba? Yes, I heard it. Now, he said at the time... Karafi acquired the Kairaba, the title deed was with Central Bank. Yeah, no, 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 we didn't know that. We know the title deed was uh, lodged with the Standard Chartered Bank. Sorry, say that again. We knew the, the papers were lodged with the Standard Chartered Bank, not with Central Bank. They we were with owed the Standard Chartered Bank two point something million and we had to pay it from the ten million. Who owed Standard Chartered Bank? Kairaba Bishotel.
And you had to do what? Well, we had to pay um, Standard Chartered Bank 2.6 million, something like that. 2.6, I have the figures here. You, know. you said the figure is where? You see, I have it here. Yes, if you have the documents, can you have it? What document are you looking at? I'm referring to the to the sales agreement. I see. Um, I prefer that you look t t uh, look at MS 92G, which is the sales agreement. Okay. The sales agreement that we have. Could you confirm that this is the sales agreement um, for the sale of Kairaba by Karafian, Emir Karafi and Sons? What are you looking for, Mr. Sonko? This, uh, this is the this sales agreement, yeah. Sorry? This is the sales agreement. It's the sales agreement? Yes. All right. So you wanted to draw the Commission's attention to some aspect of the sales agreement? Yeah, the, the, the according to the ag agreement, you know, we all, the, the old standard chartered bank, Two point something million, you know, with the interest and whatever, it came to two point six, two million six hundred thirty-two thousand five hundred seventy-three point eight two cents, which was supposed to be paid from the ten million, and the balance of seven point three million, seven million three hundred sixty-seven thousand four hundred sixty-two point one eight, you know, to be paid to the to, to the vendor. Right, I understand that. But what happened to the original title deed of Karaba? Does Karafi have it? No, 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 we don't have that. You don't have it? No. Did you ever have it? I don't remember having it. No. So what was lodged with Standard Chartered Bank? Do you know a security for the amount that you mentioned? They had, uh, they had, I mean, they had the documents with Standard Chartered Bank, uh, which was, um, uh, I think it was the title deed or whatever, because that was, that was what we were told, that they owed Standard Chartered Bank money, and that's why they have the title deeds. That was what we were told. You know, but and when we paid, and the, the you know, Standard Chartered Bank turned the, the documents to, to Karaba Beach Hotel. Why is Emi Karafi unable to produce the original title deed of the Karaba? Well, you know, these things, you know, it was translated here and everything was sent to Kuwait. You know, all the documents were sent to Kuwait. And um, um, when Mr. Harvey passed away in 2011, there was a lot of restructuring. And, uh, you know, there, Are you uh, saying you can't find them? Well, I can find out whether they, I, I, because I got some information from them, actually. They sent them by email. But I'll find out if they have the original title, the, I, other than, you know, what we have. Uh, it's in their best interest, I would, I would say, for them to produce the original title deed, um, because of the evidence that we have so far, that the original was lodged with the central bank, and that at the time of your purchase, the original was still lodged with central bank. I'm sure they can advise themselves of the implications of that or seek advice of the implications of that. I now, I would like you to confirm. Um, could you look at the back of the, the sales agreement, the exhibit that you're holding, 92G? It's endorsed by Mr. Edward Gomez. Yes. Now, your evidence before the commission was that Karafi was represented by uh, Mary Samba. 
Yes, ma'am. Um, that has not been denied by Mr. Samba because you had said um, you were introduced to Mary Samba by Mr. Samba. Um, but he denies that he took you to Mary Samba. What I would like you to explain is if you were represented by Mary Samba, according to your evidence, how, why is Mr. Edward Gomez the one who endorsed um, the sale agreement? Okay, let me explain the sequence of events. You know, this thing took uh, about a week or ten days, you know, the preparation of this documentation. And uh, there was, uh, you know, whatever made the summer people. First of all, I've never met Edward Gomez in this transaction. Completely. I've never met him there. We, are, we have never seen him during this transaction. So I don't know how, how come he is on this paper, you know. Um, there were drafts prepared, and we will send it to Dr. Hassanin, our legal team. There were drafts prepared by Prepared who? by Mary Samba in her office. Her office was off Independence Drive, just near the courts, you know, by then. I don't know now, you know. And um, we would, uh, she would prepare drafts and we would send them for legal advice, and then they would send them back and so on. So when we finally had a document for signature, Amal Samba's name was there for signing. He signed, a day later they said no, it's supposed to be signed by Yaya Jamme himself. So we changed. And then body the document with Yaya Jamme's name. They went but he didn't sign and then they came with the third document, you know, with Katrin Tamba. You know. And then when we signed they said okay, they'll take it with Yaya Jamme's aunt, auntie. That's what they said. You know, Mary Samba and Amal Samba. They were all there, you know, with us. Then, uh, they went and came back signed by Katrin Tamba. I've never seen Katrin Tamba, I've never seen Edward Gomez. These are two people I've never seen during this transaction. Katrin Tamba up to now, I've never seen her. Edward Gomez, I know him, you know, but I've not seen him during this transaction. So his name being here is something of, I don't understand. Because Sorry, have, what did you just, I, I'm doing I quiet. said his name here is something that I don't understand. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's very um, queer. Because very he was never part of the transaction. We have letters here, um, letters written to us uh, by Mary Samba claiming her fees for prepared, preparing document. And then we wrote back to her, to her to say, we are not supposed to pay you because according to the, 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 the agreement, the vendor is supposed to pay the legal fees. You know, but nonetheless, you know, I have this letter here. If you don't mind, I can read it. I can. What letters? You, want, you have letters you, you want letters to have Mary Samba wrote to us asking for her fees of $15,000. And we wrote back to say, we are not supposed to pay you, but we'll give you ex gracia $5,000 just for, you know, thanking you. Because we are not supposed to pay you. But this is non-negotiable. She wrote back to say, her fees are non-negotiable. As far as she's concerned, it's $15,000. She will either get that money or she'll go to court. So we brainstormed among ourselves, had the discussion. And then we agreed that, okay, uh, let us offer her, you know, um, ten thousand dollars. But let us start with eight. Mr. Mr. Sonko, what has this to do with Mr. Sam? No, I'm coming. I'm, I, okay. That's, that's what right. I'm explaining. Okay. You know, so during the the, nego the brainstorming, we agreed that okay, we agreed to offer her ten thousand, but starting with eight. And uh, a letter was sent by the area manager to. The, the group uh, MD in South Africa, for Africa, you know. So he, you know, and in this letter to the MD, it is mentioned, and it was faxed because there was a fax report attached to it in 2004, you know. And uh, I can no, read the letter. You, what but, was, sorry, you can't read it yet, but what was mentioned? Okay, what was mentioned in this letter is, okay, now we can offer this lady um, um, 10,000, but let's start, start with eight. You know, and uh, in considering the fact that we have um, we have we have defeated Amadou Samba, you know, in the negotiations of project because Amadou Samba was telling us to buy to pay for the supplies in the stores separately. That's the you stock. Know? That's the stock. the stock. The stock in the, st in the stores. He was he was he was claiming that that, that should be paid separately over two million dollars, and we were saying no. So finally, the matter went to Ajame and he said no. It's part of this. It's part of the sales. It's part of the ten million. 
So this guy mentioned in his letter to, 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 to Shiata in South Africa that bearing in mind that the fact that we have defeated Amal Samba, you know, in this in the supplies issue we, because of a, uh, a decision by a higher authority, let us agree to pay this lady, offer her 10,000, we started with eight, and to avoid bad blood between us and the Samba family. This letter is here, hmm. you know. Anyway, put the letters together okay. uh, for the consideration of the commission. Put them all together, the ones you want us to have a look at. Um, can you collect the letters? Yes, let me just put them. Mr. Mr. Samba did say before this commission also that it was Mr. Robert Ashwanden who took Mary Samba to you no, 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 and no. Um, not himself. No, 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 no. Ashwanden was the managing director of Kairaba Hotel. At the time of the sales, we had nothing to do with the Caraba Hotel. It was between us directly and Yaya Jame. And we, were, we have never been to the Caraba Hotel to negotiate. After we bought the hotel, if you look at the letters, you know, um, as one then came to, to, into, the, into the picture, after we went to the hotel to take over, and we had a meeting with the staff, you know, the whole staff, we brought them into the hall, Jama Hall, and told them that we are not, not the new owners, and we have taken over. And that we work harmoniously, you know, a lot of things. Then after that, you know, we had a meeting and we told us one thing, this is our problem we have with our lawyer, you know, who, the lawyer who prepared the document. Oh, oh, she said, oh, I know her. So he intervened. Because I was the only one intervening. Or people are saying, we are not going to negotiate. I was saying, please, let's not negotiate. And uh, as one said, I know her. So as one that was how he came into the picture, spoke to Mary Samba, you know, and Mary Samba accepted the 8,000 instead of, the, before, the, you know, 8,000 was the first offer she accepted, you know, and then she wrote to uh, as one then, to say she accepted because at one then was the one who went to her to negotiate the 8,000, you know. So that was how as one then. But if you look at the dates, you know, this is after the fact, this is in August, you know, and the hotel was bought in, in June. So maybe. Give, give her the letters in, in okay. logical sequence. All right. Let me look at them. letters between us and Mary Samba. For the purpose of the record, can you tell us what letters these are? Give it back to him. Okay. Your, your, your the first letter is the um, letter claiming Mary Samba's fees of $15,000 to us. And then our letter, you know, our, my, my other manager's letter to the group MD in South Africa, you know, advising him of the, you know, notifying him of Mary Samba's request. But offering that we should pay, we are not supposed to pay, but Offering that we can we can we should we can give her five thousand just as Garcia. That's our internal memo. And then we wrote back to Mary Samba to convey that we cannot pay we are not supposed to pay her, but we are giving her eight, five thousand dollars as Garcia. And a fax report, you know, of that date, and Mary Samba's reply to say no, her fees is fifteen thousand non negotiable, otherwise she'll go to court. Then we wrote back to the we wrote an internal memo where we said Amal Samba has been defeated. In the supplies issue, you know, let's accept, let's offer her 10,000, 5,000, 8,000 first, and then. You are saying that's a fax letter? Yeah, they are, no, yeah, letters are fax, and we have the fax report attached to them. Why we don't have the fax list, we have the fax report attached. And Mary Samba, now, because then Aswan then took up the matter to talk to her, then she wrote to Aswan then, you know, mm. and copied me, because I was the one negotiating to say she accepted the 8,000, and then we paid. So these are the letters. And during our transactions, we used to, uh, Bernard Mendy was responsible at the Standard Chartered Bank, you know, for the, for, to pay Standard Chartered Bank, you know, and he eventually wrote to, to Caraba Hotel to say that, you know, their liability has been cleared, you know. And I used to go to Bernard Mendy with Waldi and Amodi Samba. You used to go to Bernard Mendy at Standard Chartered Bank? Standard Chartered Bank, during the transactions, during the, because we are supposed to, 
pay the 2.6 million to them. So he was the one handling this, the, the transaction. And you're saying you used to go with Mr. Samba? Mr. Samba was to start a chartered bank? Yeah, because they are representing the Yeah. Why, why did he used to go? Sorry? Why did he go to Senate Chatterbank? He's not bank? that he represented the Yajame. You see, this transaction was all represented by Amoli Samba. There was no Aswan there was nobody else. It was Amoli Samba for Yajame, me for Nasa Harafi, you know? And I involved my people because I told, I, we agreed that, okay, let me not sign, I'm a Gambian. Yajame is a funny man. You know, if I sign, he can twist my arms, hands one day and say, okay, let's change the signature. He takes by the hotel. So I agreed that, okay, I'll get my other money to sign, the finance manager to sign and uh, the MD from South Africa to endorse, you know, and then that's it. Let me ask you, was there a specific account manager of, at Standard Chartered Bank? Yes, yes, uh, Lamin Sane was our Standard Chartered Bank. Lamin Sane. Lamin Sane. Lamin Sane, yeah, he's now in Dubai. He, he, was, he was the Standard Chartered Bank, uh, our, our, our account manager at Standard Chartered Bank at the okay. time. Did you mention a letter from Standard Bank? We yes, can a letter from Standard Bank to, 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 to Caraba Hotel. Signed by Bernard Mendy. Another letter from Standard Chartered Bank to, to the tax office. You know, change, change them, change them, change of name, change of change of ownership. Okay, right? let's let's just add you know. it. Whatever, yes. Just and, need. And uh, all right, let's let's have those documents so we admit them as one bundle. Uh, Mr. Sonko. Yes, ma'am. Was capital gains tax paid in Did respect of this sale? Because um, I ask you this question yeah. because what we see is a lease we haven't, we haven't, um, the assignment we have is the assignment between Carabao Beach Hotel and Side Gambia, Invest. was a you, you'll have to produce all your documents from Kuwait wherever they are but was capital gains tax paid I think it was paid because actually I was following up the the, 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 the transaction with income tax and I went to Ali Jabo he was then the tax commissioner and he told me well capital gains tax was not paid so I, I called attention of Yajami to this fact and he told me, okay, Amal Sama will handle it. And I believe Amal Sama went there and paid something, then they got the clearance. I went to income tax myself to get this information. But they told me, you know, over the years, they've been moving from Kwadrangul to Lasawav, you know, to uh, uh, headquarters, and then now to, uh, they are in Kalifing. You know, and normally, according to the law, they are allowed to keep documents for only six years. So I couldn't get... But actually, right. you know, I'm also paid. Since you are representing Karafi, yes. um, ki kindly try and contact them. I will, I will. To produce all the documents they have relevant yes, to this I transaction. Will, I will, I will, I will. Because there's an issue of $2 million okay. that's outstanding okay. owed to Central Bank, according to the evidence we have before this commission. Okay. I will. Mr. Chairman, may I apply to have admitted document letters? between Emi Karafi and their solicitor with regard to the sale of Kairaba Beach Hotel. As well as letters from Standard Chartered Bank a letter from Senate Chartered Bank with regard to the settlement of the debt in, in their books.
and from Caraba Beach Hotel, signed by Robert Ashwanden. Excuse me. This sales agreement is not the same as our sales agreement. You you have to wait. No, I'm just saying the sales agreement. This this exhibit. Yes, you have to wait for the commissioners. Okay. All right.
Washington, <coughs> correspondent by Mary A. Samba, solicitor, M. A. Karafi and Sons Limited, Standard Chartered Bank, and Kairawa Beach Hotel for the period 17th June 2004 to 13th August 2004, all concerning the sale of Kairawa Beach Hotel to M.A. Karafi and Sons Limited in a bundle. Mark MS102. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Sonko, you were trying to say something. Yes, this, uh, this says agreement. The, the, the Can you exhibit, refer to it as an exhibit? Exhibit, exhibit MS, number. Exhibit yes. MS 92G. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it's different from what we have in our files. It's, it's, it's different. It's, it's different because ours is Catherine, Catherine Tamba, was the director representing Millennium. And now it's Robert Aswandian. No. Okay, where does it say it's Catherine Tamba and yeah. where does it say yeah. it's Robert Ashwin? On ours, on ours is Catherine Tamba and her signature is there and her name written on, the, on every page. And uh, I'll sign by, you can sign also by our area manager, will they? But here is um, Robert Ashwin then and, you know, uh, signed by Catherine Tamba and Robert Ashwin then, kind of. But then the name, I don't know. That is, there is no, 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 no as one then on our, on our, on our, on our sales agreement. All right. Is that the only difference? Is, is that the difference? Is, yeah. that's the, is that the only difference you have that, noted? That, yeah, I, I have to read it all to know whether there is a, a difference. All right. Um, let me have your own, which you, I will apply to have admitted. Can I have the exhibit, please? We'll make a copy for you so you can take your time and compare the two, okay. if you wish. Mr. Chairman, may I apply to have admitted um, a sale agreement, an unregistered sale agreement, um, said to be between Millennium Industrial and General Trading Company, registered in Malagua, acting through its director, Catherine Tamba, here after recall the vendor. Produced by the witness, Mr. Sonko, as the sale agreement that the Emir Karafi has in connection with uh, Kairababi Hotel. Would, 
I'm sure the commissioners would like to see MS 92G as well.
unregistered sale agreement between, oh sorry, dated 8th June 2004 between Millennium Industrial Company and M.A. Karafi and Sons relating to Kairawa Beach Hotel leasehold property. Admitted mark MS 103. May I have Exhibit 92G? Uh, Mr. Songo, I'd just like you to look at the signature page at page 8 of Exhibit 92G. Now, the, the signatures we show Robert Ashwan then yes. signing on behalf of the vendor also shows yourself, Mullah um, Sonko, as a witness on the same page. Yes. Is that your signature? Yes, this is my signature. So how come you didn't know that Robert Ashwan then signed? As I said, I don't, actually, I, 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 as far as I know, this, the one I have here, I didn't sign because I said, I mean, you know, it was a sequence. Um, during the transaction, at one point, you know, I signed. But as one then, for as one then name to be there, actually, I don't, I don't, because as far as I know, it's Captain Tamba, that was the final document that was prepared, and then it was delivered to us. There are documents, you know, going through back, forth and back, back and forth, you know, cancelled and, you know, so finally, we agreed on this was the final document, Catherine Tamba signature, you know, and that was what was given to, finally given to us, and that's what we registered. So this one, you know, maybe was one of the discarded documents that they kept, and you know. Well, that that is the registered document. Yeah, Do you yeah. have a registered document of this sale? Sorry, yes, yes. That is a registered document, not the one you tendered, exhibits one one zero three. Ex this other exhibit, yes. signed by Robert Ashwanden. Yes, it's the this one, one that was registered. Yeah, it's, this, one, this is what we have. Okay. You don't have a registered sale agreement? Registered like a... A registered copy of the sale agreement. This was sent from Kuwait by email. I can ask for the original. All right. Okay, you are going to ask them to provide. Yeah. Because really we would like to understand. Yeah, because actually, as well then, no. Captain Tamba was the final signature. I'm going to show you an exhibit 92H, which okay. is a part of attorney which was also tendered by Mr. Samba as documents given to him by his sister, Mary Samba, or one of the documents. It's not a registered part of attorney, but it, it is a part of attorney dated 17th May 2004 by Catherine Tamba, Director Millennium Industrial and General Trading Company Limited, appointing Mr. Robert Ashwanden, Managing Director of Caraba Hotel, as the attorney of Millennium Industrial and General Trading Company Limited. And can you tell us what you know about this document? Now, there is no witness, and she, she signed where the witness should have signed, but it looks like Catherine Tamba, the signature. Can you look at it and tell us what you know about this document?
I'm seeing this document for the first time. You've never seen it before? Never, never. And the signature of Kakitama on the, on the sales agreement is not the same as this. It's not the same. No. Can I have the exhibit, please? 103. Um, can you look at the, the, the that part of attorney yes. was faxed, it would appear. Yes. Um, it's faxed from, there are details about the fax. Can you read out the details? 1705-2004 at 16.15. There is a number 323-2266-908. Global Trading Group, page 101. 01 stroke 01 phone number 461114 May 17 2004 02 22 p.m. page 2 did, did um, Global Trading Group were they connected in any way to this transaction? I don't know Global Trading Group I don't know them alright alright let's have the exhibit back Um, you are saying you never met Mr. Ka Mrs. Catherine Tamba? No, never. Um, you were acting for Kairaba and she purported to be the, the di a director of Millennium Industrial and General Trading Company Limited. Yes. Do you know whether at the time any document was produced from her as giving her the authority to sign on behalf of the president? No. I, don't, I didn't see any document produced from her. Actually, she, I, didn't, I don't know. This, we signed a document we were taken, you know, by Amadou Samba to go and get it signed, you know, through Yajame. So finally, you know, that's it. So they came with this signature. Hmm. Yeah. All right. We will require all the documents that Emir Karafi I will, has. I will, I, will, I, will, I will tell them to send us everything that they can, they can find. Um, since Ms. Samba acted for Emir Karafi and Sons, we will require that Emir Karafi and Sons waive the privilege between themselves and Mary Samba to give evidence to okay. clarify this matter. Okay, okay. And since you are acting for them, I would like you to transmit that request. Okay. So what do we do? We have to write? Or we you would have to, to write to the commission. To the commission. Okay. Yes. To we give our permission to explain to the com this transaction to the commission. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We'll do that. Those are the questions that I have, Mr. For Mr. Sonko, very well, Mr. Sonko, you may leave. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we rise uh, for 15 minutes. Mr. Sonko, please expedite the request I, for info I, I, information. I will, I will, I will, I will of the right now. All right, thank you. I'm going to have a. We rise now. We'll be back in. 15 minutes. 15 minutes.